Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your man, Chris Thorne, sitting up here at the workout, um, getting some work done or whatnot. But I'm coming to you with this uh, quick video because uh, I had something on my mind that um, I just want to talk about real quick. And at the end of the day, as always, y'all come in with y'all comments and um, tell me what y'all think or whatever the case may be. Oh, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching my content, always like, comment, subscribe, and share. Dig that. So check it out. Most of you seen, um, and it looks like it got a lot of views. Uh, most of y'all seen the video that I put up yesterday that I did on the Facebook Live about the woman that was violated with uh, all them Negroes and them bitches up in the room or whatnot. So most of y'all probably seen the video that I put up. So uh, <coughs> as always, when I do videos, I take the videos and I share them out to a lot of people on Facebook or whatnot because uh, a lot of y'all don't get notifications. A little like on Facebook, a lot of y'all don't get notifications either, you know, so we need to get that shit fixed somehow, some way. All right. But check it out. One person that I sent it to had said something to me that was quite interesting and I, I actually quite agree with what he said. He saw the video and uh, he says to me, he says, uh, you know, I hate that this happened to that person. But I'm going to be honest with you. These these probably ain't his exact words, but it's pretty damn close to it. They said, uh, you know, but I, you know, I just hate to tell you, you know, I really don't feel sorry or sympathy for her. Because if you ask me, and it'll probably be her friends, then she knew the type of friends she was around. And she knew uh what was up. But again, you know, I'm sorry that. This has, this has happened to him. And I had to let that marinate for a minute. And I was just like, well, he didn't say he was happy this happened to him. You know, he said he just don't feel sorry because he felt like that, you know, she knew what was up. And I thought about that, I thought about that, and I said, you know what, he has a point. He does have a point. Let me explain to you why I say he has a point with what he said. We as people tend to put ourselves in situations that we know that don't feel right. We all had that sensation that before we do anything, that we sit back and think about it and think about, you know, uh, this ain't right. Something about this don't feel right. But for some reason, we still end up going to do what does not feel right. Trust me, I'd have been there and done that. And then what we do when shit happens, I shouldn't have done that. We'll say, I shouldn't have done that. Or I should have followed my first mind. Or I should have followed my gut. And shouldn't have done that. Now, some things we do like that, we can come back from. A lot of things we do with that, we can't come back from. Because some things, once it's done, it's done with hell. Majority of the things that we do, once it's done, it's done. You know, it's in the past now. You know, you can't change the past, but you can't correct the mistake that you made. Now, we all have friends, if you want to call them friends. We got some that we trust, and we got some that we have trust. And you got some that you just don't trust, period. So that's why you keep your distance from them. And that's human nature. We all have that. But at the same time, we know our lifestyles is different from theirs as a lot of time. Because a lot of times everybody's not on the same page. Seriously. I could be one way, which a lot of people say I'm a square because I don't smoke and I don't drink. But I don't ever call them a square or a hoodlum or a thug or whatever because they smoke or drink. You know, hey. That's your lifestyle, and that's your lifestyle. I respect your lifestyle. I mean, I don't necessarily just take it as a dish, you know, because a lot of them say that, you know, and uh, they just laugh when they say that, you know, you're a square. You ain't never tried this. You ain't never tried that. I mean, I ain't never said I never tried it. You know, uh, I probably drunk a, drunk a couple of times, but it wasn't number like some sips or something. Now, smoke, I only tried it one time. I had my cousin try to throw me a shotgun, and that didn't go too well, so I know smoking ain't for me. But just because somebody else do it doesn't mean it's for you. 
a lot of us get in this mindset that in order for us to be cool, we got to be in with the in crowd. And that's furthest from the truth. You don't have to be in the in crowd just to be cool with somebody. I mean, if somebody's down for you and somebody's ride and die for you, then it is what it is. As a matter of fact, somebody your true friend, somebody who cares for you, somebody who loves you, won't even put you in a situation that you don't belong. And it could have been a possibility with this young lady. She wanted to be in the in crowd, even though she probably had a bad feeling about what was going on. She wanted to be in the in crowd. But as you can tell, the females in there, well, you already can see now the dudes didn't give a shit about her. But the females pretty much didn't give a shit about her at all. You can tell in the video, they didn't give a shit about her. But let's just say they're supposed to be best friends, or whatever the case may be. Then she should already know that her friend ain't shit for putting her in that situation that she didn't need to be in. But do you blame it all on the friend? Nah. You got to put the blame on the lady herself. If she had a bad feeling about going to this place, then she shouldn't have went. Okay? But that's, that's a lot of stuff that's going on with the young generation now. As soon as they hear the word party, they lose their fucking mind. A lot of females go find the sluttiest outfits. A lot of dudes go get fresh and clean. A lot of us do have a shitload of clothes and a wardrobe, shit, shitload of shoes. But we'll go buy an extra outfit and buy an extra pair of shoes just to go to one party. We do that shit. I don't do it. But I've seen a lot of people who've done it. And I think it's crazy. You know, you got a BS wardrobe just full of clothes, but you'll go out, buy your outfit, buy your new pair of shoes, just go to this party. With a lot of females, a big ass wardrobe full of clothes, but you still go out by the sluttiest outfit with the shoes to match. And you go to the party. Again, you hear a party, you lose your fucking mind. And I don't think we never think about the consequences that happen at these parties, especially with the in crowd that you hang with. If you know your friends is thuggish, ruggish, bone, <laughs> then you could expect them to behave like that at the party. You pretty much can't expect them to behave like that. So why would you put yourself in a situation like that, go with somebody, that you know you got a bad feeling, or you, every time they go somewhere, you hear a story that they got into it with this person, they got into it with this person, they got into a shootout, they got into a fight. Why would you follow somebody that you know is not going to turn out well? I'll tell you why you do it. Because in that situation right there, we always want to make somebody happy. Again, we want to show everybody that we're cool. We want to show everybody that we can hang with the big dogs. But a lot of times... You can't hang with the big dogs. A lot of people who with their lifestyle, been living their lifestyle, and got the mindset of lifestyle, and they know how it works. Somebody like me, I don't have the mindset of their lifestyle. I don't have the street smart of their lifestyle. So I can't sit up here and go some places with individuals that I know that live that lifestyle, and knowing I ain't down with it. Or no, I don't know their lifestyle. And then turn around, I get fucked up. Let alone, if they ask me to go somewhere and I already got a bad feeling about it, then I still go. I put myself in that situation because I still went knowing that I had a bad, knowing that I had a bad feeling about the situation. Okay. Now, I'm going to take it away from what happened to her. Not at all. She still didn't deserve that. Regardless she had a bad feeling or not, she still did not deserve that. Let me tell y'all something. When a person say they don't want to be touched, good thing not to touch them. Especially when it comes to a woman. I think a lot of us don't understand the power that women have when it comes to that touching shit. If they say no, that means no. No means no. As a matter of fact, I can tell you how much power that a woman has to get you fucked up. Let me tell you this story. Let me get on out of here. Long time ago, um, I forget what year this was. 
somewhere like 2089, something like that. A new person uh, came in to work in one of the homes that I work in. And she was an attractive lady. She was an attractive lady. And, um, but you could tell she had one of them little pretty ass attitudes, like, you know, kept her nose up there or whatnot. But, you know, I don't trip off shit like that, you know, because I'm me, regardless of what. So, make a long story short, I never asked this woman for sex. Never made no sexual advances to her. Never called out of my never called her out of her name or none of that. I showed her much respect. At least I thought I did. I remember this one day I came to work and I was having a good day. I was having a good day this day. You know it's a Friday. I was trying to go in and get my shift in and get the fuck on out. So when I get in this particular day, the manager was still at the house. And she said, we need to go to the office. I thought it was something that the client probably did. But come to find out, we had to go to the office because of me. So when we figured out to go to the, uh, talk to the highest, to the, the director or whatnot, I saw this letter that this girl was writing. It said, Chris has been doing something, and I couldn't read out the rest. So when we got up in there, the director was like, you know, hey, we up in here because uh, she said she got a complaint. Now, this one, one of the complaints this woman made was saying because I was calling her baby. That's one of the complaints, and I think that's one of the main complaints. She said I was calling her baby. Now, mind you, I've never been in trouble for this before. before. This is how I talk sometimes. You know, hey, baby, how you doing? I don't mean no harm by it. No harm by it whatsoever. This woman went in there and reported on me saying that I was calling her baby. Along with a lot, with a whole lot of shit. As a matter of fact, one of the other things she reported was she caught me looking at her ass. Okay, am I supposed to get suspended because I'm looking at your ass? I'm a man. That's what the fuck I do. Look at your ass. You know, I never touched your ass. I never tried to grab your ass. None of that stuff. But she put in the report that she caught me looking at her ass. I bullshit y'all not. That was in the report too. And there was a whole lot of other shit. She put in this report that she felt I was disrespecting her about. And my director was sitting up here listening to this bullshit. And then on top of that, my manager snuck in and said some shit too behind it. Two black women. Turn around and said some shit behind it. And I'm just like, well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Some shit that could have been handled at the job site. But I got called in the office to speak with the director because this motherfucker right here had a problem with me saying, hey, baby. Now, I don't know when saying, hey, baby, was disrespectful. But I guess if a woman feel disrespected, will you say that to her? I guess you got to stop saying it, especially in this day now. The way people getting called for sexual harassment, I guess it'd be a good thing to stop saying it. But I bullshit you not. I, I got in trouble for this. This woman went and reported all the shit to this uh, 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 to this director. And the director sent up here eating this shit up. But she's a woman too. Eating all this shit up. And I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm getting reported because I said, baby. I'm getting reported because I looked at your ass. I didn't try to make no sexual advances. Didn't say I want to fuck you. Didn't call you no bitch. Didn't say, damn, you fine or none of that shit. I ain't say none of that shit. But I got reported because I said baby to this woman. You can't tell me that a lot of women ain't got the power to fuck a man up. Now, I didn't lose my job. I didn't lose my job. You know, the manager was just like, um, pretty much telling me, Stop. Or whatnot. And I was just like, wow. So that's when it came to me, you know, hey, you try to be a gentleman. A lot of women don't like that. But when you talk to them like a nigga who just don't give a fuck, they like that shit. Don't understand it. But it happens. 
Because I'm going to tell you what happened. Not too long after that, another employee, a guy who I was cool with, he was calling her baby and sweetheart. Asked me, did he get in trouble? Nope. As a matter of fact, I even think he even came to her saying that he want to fuck or whatnot. Asked me, did he get reported? Nope. He didn't get reported. So I, I had to sit back and think for a minute. Okay, now why the fuck did I get reported for not even saying half of the shit that he did, but I got in trouble for calling you baby. But he gets to slide when he call you the same thing. And this is the best answer I came up with. <clears throat> I want y'all to tell me y'all agree with me on this. I think with a lot of people, like women, because I don't, I don't hear too many men reporting sexual harassment or whatever the case may be. It came down to this. With a woman like her, if you're not eye candy to her and you do stuff she don't like, she's going to do what she can to fuck you up. But if you are eye candy to her, you get to slide with every damn thing. That's the best thing I come up with. Because why else would she report me? But we'll report him. And then turn around and fuck them. Now, I never asked him for no pussy. Never made no advances. Let me keep saying that. But she reported me. Just because I said baby. And just because I was looking at her ass. Versus a man that told her he wanted to fuck. And told, called her baby. And he ended up fucking her. Crazy shit. So at the end of the day, like I say, if it don't feel right, don't do it. If it don't feel right, don't do it. It's your man Chris Thorns. Peace out.